Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Shayna here. Um, I just got these new markers and I wanted to play with them, so I decided I would turn on the camera and help um, help you guys and do this along with you guys um, and review them as we go. So here we go. I'm going to do some swatches with you guys today. Um, I need, I have to have my marker swatches. So I have those and then I'm going to try them out in two different coloring books with you and we can see how this goes. Um, not going to lie. I played with a few of them and I really like them so far. So here we go. Um, I got these off of Amazon. They are the spree markers, S P R E E Y. So I don't know if it's spree or spree, um, but they this is the 84 marker set. If you guys watch A Colorful Life with Anne, she just reviewed the 42. Um, so I found them through her and I decided that I wanted to go with the bigger set of markers um, because I have full set syndrome. Uh, they were only a little bit about 10 12 dollars more expensive um i did get these for about 30 dollars um so i can't complain not too bad they are budget friendly um so yes it is 84 markers and we are going to go ahead and dig right in so it does this does come off this this part right here um but i'm just going to leave it on for now because i don't want to deal with it um let's see if it says anything so that just has the name and then there are colors over here and 84 art markers, so it doesn't say anything. Thought maybe it would have like instructions or something. We'll open this, and there they all are. And it does come with this little pamphlet, which I really like. Um, again, it just tells you the brand, but then when you open it up, it has um, the colors over here and then a blank one over here. So you can test them out. Um, it is very very glossy though so I feel like it would run right off but we're gonna try it so before we get to swatching let's try one on here so let's find marker number one which is wine red let's zoom in Oops, wrong way. And there we go so wine red is right here so we're gonna go ahead and Try, well, not with that tip. Try to swatch them out. Okay, ooh, that makes an obnoxious sound, but it does work. But chances are, ooh, squeaky, you're not gonna use your markers on this um, kind of paper. So you can swatch them on here, you can do whatever you'd like, but um, I wouldn't recommend it because most paper is not this glossy. Um, I don't even know what you would call this, but it's like a, it's like, I mean, it's, it's cardboard, I guess, with a glossy finish. I don't know. Um, it's like a card. That's what I would, or the cover of a coloring book. That's what this feels like to me. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to swatch the rest on that side. Um, and it's already, I don't know, it looks weird. So I wouldn't suggest that, but you can. But at least you have this as a reference if you ever lose your swatch chart or something. So let me bring you up here. This way? Yeah. We're figuring it out, guys. I'm figuring it out. Yay, technology. All right. So I am sitting kind of crooked, so hopefully this goes okay. Um, so this is just my cardstock paper, my um, Nina cardstock again I will link it below for you friends um, and let's just get into this so let's talk about the marker itself so the barrel of the marker looks like this let me flip this over um, so it's got the name it says art marker this tells you it's a chisel tip and this tells you it's a bullet tip um, this mark right here also helps you know that it's a bullet tip my one complaint is that the color name is not anywhere on here. So you have to go by the number. So this is number one. There we go. This is number one, which, oh no, my, my iPad disconnected. Uh oh, my phone's dying. Oh shoot. All right guys, I will be right back. I'm gonna try to plug my phone in. 
All right, you guys, I am back. I just can't bump the camera too much because when I put in the, um, when I put in the charger, my phone went like this on the tripod. So I have something balancing it so that it goes like this um, and stays stable. So we're gonna try to do this. Um, let's flip these again. So back to the marker, um, chisel tip, bullet tip. Let's take a look at those. Nice standard chisel tip. Perfect. We got a nice bullet tip. This is actually smaller than the Cali Art Markers bullet tip, which I actually really, really like. They snap nicely, the markers do. Oh, I just drew on myself. Oh, well. Yep, they snap down nice and tight. But yes, there's no color name on the uh, barrel at all, so that's a tiny bit frustrating. Um, but you do have the number, so you just have to make sure you number right and go by the number. So let's go ahead and get into this and see these colors. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to zoom you in a little tiny bit more. Awesome. So we are going to do, let's start with the chisel tip. So number one is wine red. looks very nice but we will wait for it to dry so one oh and it does come with a colorless blender which is really nice so there's that number zero next is number three rose red should put these over over there where i can reach a little bit better um and i'm going to do the bullet nib this time Nice and juicy, guys. These are really nice. I am quite pleased with these so far. So that was rose red. We have number five, which is cherry pink. I don't know what I did. Oh, there it is. I put the little card in the thing. So I'm just gonna, either one of these tips work. I kind of like to use the bullet. Cherry pink is number five. Number six is Vivid Pink. Number six. That's a pretty color. That reminds me of the Cerise in um, the Cali Arts. Number eight, there she is, is Rose Pink. I'm just gonna use the bullet nib, guys. I like how that looks better. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's like a dusty rose blush color. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. I don't think the Cali Arts have one like that. And those are the, I'm comparing them to those because those are the only other like big set of alcohol markers that I have. Again, I have the Touch News that I showed you guys, um, but they are not my favorites and most of them are dead anyway. So I don't really have anything to compare these to but the Cali Arts. Um, let's go with number 10. This is Deep Red. That cap was really on there. So how is everybody doing? I have had a full day of filming. That's number 10. Um, I filmed, so today is still to, uh, Tuesday the 12th. I mean the 12th. I'm looking for number 12. Today is still Tuesday, June 2nd. So I filmed my, um, this is coral red. That is a coral color, that's pretty. Oh, I'd like that as a lipstick. <laughs> um, so I filmed my completed pages today. I filmed my uh, diamond painting unboxing twice. Um, I did the flip through that you guys will see this week, and now I'm doing this one, which I don't know when you guys will ever see this, but you will see it. This is number 13, which is Scarlet. Um, so yeah, it's been a very full day. My poor roommate has been cooped up in her room. Um, she was like, I'm going to go walking. And I was like, okay, I'll keep filming then. <laughs> Just try to knock some videos out, guys. And, and then I have them and I'll edit them and I'll be done. And I can post them when I need to post them. Vermilion is number 14. That's this one. So 
These are really quite a variety of colors so far. 15 is geranium. It looks like it's gonna be a bright red, but you never know. And that's why I swatch things because the ends do not always match the colors. Geranium. This is a very deep red. That's very nice. I like that color. That'd be good for roses. I'd call that rose red before I'd call that rose red, but that's okay. 17 is pastel pink. I hope you guys are zoomed in enough. Should we try to go further? There we go. That's actually a little bit better. Perfect. So 17. I'm going to have to find the camera now. That way? No. This way. Nope. <laughs> there we go. 17 is pastel pink. There are lots of pinks and actually lots of purples in this set, which I am very excited about because Calliard only has like four purples. It might have more technically, but they look, some of them look blue to me. We have 21, which is terracotta. If I can find it in the set, there it is. So um, I'm not sure why these numbers skip around like this. Um, I don't know if this maybe isn't the full set and there is another one with more colors. That is definitely possible. Um, but I will have to do my research and look into that. Because I don't think there's a website on this brand. No, there isn't. So I'll have to Google it and see um, if there actually is a site just for these. The one downside, this is French Vermilion number 22, about these markers, one of the downsides is that it's got this triangular shape, which I don't know if you can even see, um, which makes it kind of uncomfortable to hold. Um, so it's okay, but it kind of digs in up here on my hand because of the triangle, but it, it could be worse. So that was 22 French Vermilion. 23 is orange. There's a slight difference in those. This one's a little bit brighter than that one is. It's really not that t that much different. 24 next is marigold back there. That looks almost exactly like the marigold in um, uh, the Cali Arts, but it's not dry yet, so we'll see. Um, and I use that as like a yellow orange. All right, so next is 25, which is salmon pink. It's getting harder to find them because they're falling. There it is. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice skin tone. 25. Powder pink is 27. I will never understand why they put these colors in this order, but I guess it has to do with color theory. That's a pretty light pink. That's a good skin tone as well, um, which I don't understand much about. So <laughs> if you guys know, let me know down below why the colors are in the order that they are. Um, 33 is melon yellow. Okay, that's almost like a um, yellow orange too. That's pretty. I keep forgetting to show you the markers. There you go, guys. 33. 34 is just yellow. Um, it's 35. There it is, 34. That's very almost orangey too, but we'll see how it dries. We'll see how it dries. When I think yellow, I think like bright canary yellow. So those are super similar. I kind of wish they would have switched out for something else. They're very, very close. Let's go 35 with lemon yellow. Lemon, lemon and melon. That's not confusing at all. Lemon yellow. That's pretty. That's a yellow. That's what I would say is like yellow. These are almost identical. They don't look that much identical in the camera, but to my eye, they look identical. 
pastel yellow is 37. And it could be just different light too. Okay. Again, we'll have to see how these dry, but that's pretty. Those again are very similar. This one's a little bit lighter. Olive yellow is 41. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's a nice, a very nice olive. It is a little more on the yellow than the green side, so that's, that's nice. 42 is bronze green. Move you guys over. That's different than I thought it was, was gonna be. Hmm. I like it. That's a nice green. I thought it would be more like a deeper color than of this, but it is not as quite green. 42. 44 is sunflower. That's odd that it went from, hmm. Well, we'll see what color this is. Yeah, that's a yellow. But, uh, the yellows look very similar to me. Um, I guess we'll see when they dry but they all look very similar. So I feel like we could switch out some yellows for some different colors. Um, Canaria yellow was 45. I'm looking for a bright one, guys. Bright yellow, there we are. That's a little bit better. Now that is more pastel than I thought it would be. But again, we're I'm, as I'm watching them dry, they are changing. Um, and that was 45. 46 is vivid green. But yeah, as of right now, my feedback is more variety in yellows. 47 is grass green. I usually really like this color, so I'm hoping that this is a good green. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Um, they are going down really nicely. Other than where I've like skipped spots, they there's no streaks which is really good. We have 48, which is yellow-green. That's a nice yellow-green. That one feels a little bit dr on the drier side, but it's still pretty juicy. Oopsie. 50 is forest green. I haven't had a dry marker yet, guys. That's great. Here's 50. I'm not showing you all the barrels. I did show you them before, so I'm not, no, oh, that's not working. That's okay. So you guys know what they look like and you can see as I'm coloring too. Oh, that's pretty. That's got like a blue tint to it. That's nice, forest green. 52 is deep green. Markers are falling everywhere. I just have them stacked on the side rather than putting them back in. Ooh, that's nice. A nice dark green. I like these greens so far. Emerald green is 55. Ooh, avalanche! Goodness. And that clinking sound you heard? <laughs> Gonna be transparent with you guys. That was a giant bottle of vodka. <laughs> it's mostly full. It Actually, it is full. I don't think we've used it. But my roommate got it when we first went into quarantine. <laughs> oh, that is emerald green. I really like that color. One short day in the Emerald City. I don't really sing like that, guys, but I'm too embarrassed to sing on camera for real, so. Um, 57 is turquoise green light. I'm very excited about these next two colors. Oh, that's so nice. Turquoise and aqua green, I guess you could call it. 58 is a mint green light. Mm, where are you, sir? There we go. Okay. All right, that's different than I thought, but it is nice. It is like a, like if you look at a mint leaf, it is a paler mint color. I thought it was gonna be like really light, but I, I say mint in most people. Like I think greenish blue, like light, light pastel green, but Anyway, maybe that's what our pale green is, which is 59, because that's kind of what the top looks like. 
There we go. <laughs> Sorry guys, don't wanna make you dizzy. All right. Can you tell I've been filming all day? Going a little nuts. Oh, that's a different color too. Okay. That's like a bud green. Okay, my markers are going everywhere. 61 is peacock green. Don't look, Anne, if you're watching. <laughs> Peacocks. All right. Peacock green. That's pretty. Let's see. I think there's a peacock blue in here, too. Maybe not. But that almost is more blue than green. 63 is cerulean blue. I love this color in the Cali art, so let's see if it's the same. Oh, yeah, pretty close. That's a nice blue. It kind of matches my shirt. <laughs> That's funny. Got my tie-dye on. 64 is Indian blue. I like this color in the Cali Arts too. Okay, that's a little more blue. Well, no, that's pretty close. I do like that color. Baby blue is 66. I should probably speed up so we can actually get to coloring in a book. Move over here. So we've got baby blue. Oh yeah, that's pretty too. I'll have to compare color charts then, and I can talk about it off camp, like when we're not doing this. Pastel blue is 67. That looks, well, no, it is different than the baby blue. It's a lot closer though than the one in the Cali Arts. We'll see how those dry. Turquoise blue is 68. There it is. This might be the color I'm wanting. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's what I was looking for with the greens, but this is more blue. It's like a um, very light blue. Our little light on the side just turned on. 70 is royal blue. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, nice. I like that. That is a royal blue. A lot of the times that didn't click. When they say royal blue, there we go. Um, it's usually not the color I'm thinking of, but that is. 71 is cobalt blue. Right here in the front. That was better, there we go. Oh, that's dark. That's super nice too. It reminds me of the Prisma blues. 72, not the markers, the Pencils. Is Napoleon blue? I almost said crayons. Speaking of crayons, have you guys seen the multicultural crayons? They are awesome. I want to get a pack and see what I can do with them. 73 is blue violet. 73? Yeah. So, yeah. Can't read my own handwriting sometimes. There it is. So this is blue violet. We are getting into the purples, which I'm excited about. Okay, yeah, that's really purple. I wouldn't say that's blue at all. I guess on the it's on the bluer side, but looking at that, that's purple. Even the top, that matches pretty well. 74 is brilliant blue. That's a nice um, denim -y color. I like that. We have, so maybe, did you see that one? There's the br brilliant blue. We have dark violet light over here. That makes no sense to me. Is it dark or light? <laughs> okay then. Um, 75, this top at least reminds me of the mauve shadow from Cali Art. So let's see. Oh, that's much prettier. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love that color, you guys. Oh, I've been looking for a color like that. Hallelujah, I love that. That is beautiful. I love purple. <laughs> All right, 76 is sky blue. That's really pretty, I really like that. 
Okay, that's a pretty blue. I'm really liking these so far, and even the yellows are drying a little differently, so that's good. Um, 77 is pale blue violet. Okay, that's a little bit darker than the dark violet light. That's pretty, too. These are the color purples I've been looking for. Still love my mauve shadow, but these are beautiful. 81 is deep violet. We have a deep violet in the Cali art set, so I'll have to compare those. Pretty close. This is almost um, on the pinkish side, like a magenta. That's pretty. So deep violet, but they are pretty close. Pastel violet is next. I'm excited about this one. All the purples. I'm just excited about the purples. That's closer to the mauve shadow from Cali Art. But I love that color too. So if I ever run out of the other one, which I'm sure I will soon because I love that color, <laughs> we can use that one. I'm really liking these markers, guys. They are so juicy. They are very, very um, easy to use. This bullet nib is really nice because it's so small. I feel like I'm going to have more control over them than the Cali Arts. And this is vivid purple. There's a magenta color. That actually is very magenta, but I really like it. 88 is Cerise, so I think this is going to be a bright pink. Can you see that? Yeah, you're still in frame for this one. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is Cerise. The vivid pink is very magenta, too. But this is even more so. I really like Or fuchsia. Maybe that's fuchsia. I don't know. I get my colors mixed up in my head. Alrighty, 89 is pearl, pale, pearl, <laughs> is a pale purple. Let's see, all the markers are kind of falling down. There it is, that was pink, that looks pink, so I, I missed that. So pale purple, that's not purple to me, but alrighty. That one's very pretty too. Again, that's similar to another color, so I would maybe switch that out for something else. 91 is natural oak. Ooh, that's a lot darker than the cap. I need to go back over that because I was distracted by looking at the cap. That's a pretty brown though. That is a heck of a lot darker than that is. So we'll see how it dries, but that's pretty. Really, I like browns a lot too because I use them so much in like landscapes and stuff. 93 is burnt orange. It's a, I'm on a hunt now, you guys. I hope I wrote down all the colors. It looks like we've got more colors than I wrote down. Did I screw up? No, I don't think I did. Okay. 93 is burnt orange. Just looked like we had more. Um, okay. All right, I don't know how to feel about that one. It's very similar to the first one. Rose beige is 97. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a great skin tone. These are two, but if you were using them in grayscale books, they might overpower the grayscale. 98 is chestnut. Oh, that's one or two. That's 103. All right. I gotta lift them all up here because they're falling down. There we go. Uh, yeah, 98. I thought it said 86 for a second. <laughs> all right, chestnut brown. Ooh, that's dark. Wow. See how that one dries? Ooh, and I poked myself again. Look, I got a freckle. <laughs> Walnut is 100. That's greenish, greenish brown. That's almost like, I don't know, not quite, but these two are very similar. Oh no, what the heck? All right, now my iPad is dying. So I disconnected here. Let's, um, let me regroup again and we will come right back. All right, y'all, we are back. So let me, See here, I'm gonna zoom you in again because I think it zoomed you out. Sure did. 
There we go. And I have an avalanche of markers going on. So let me just put some over there. There we go. All right, so we just did walnut, which was 100. And we're gonna move over. There we go. We'll go with 102, which is raw umber. Thanks guys for bearing with me. I was filming all day and just hoping that I could get this one in without anything dying and it turns out both things died. So that's okay, we are back. So this is raw umber, one or two. Yep, that looks like the umbers that I know from my pencils, more than markers. That's pretty. We have potato brown. I'm excited to see this one, one or three. Ooh, that's nice. That's a good skin tone, too. Again, you can do skin whatever color you want, but that's a really pretty one. All right. And then we have 120, which is black. So I'm not sure why they're ordered this way, but this is how they're ordered on the pamphlet, so this is how I'm going to order them. So we have black, and then we go into our grays. So um, black is pretty much black. All right, now we have WG.5. Ma'am, where are you? There it is, right in front of my face, of course. So this is an interesting color. Um, I did grab this one when I was playing with them earlier, and it's like very, very pale. On camera, it does look gray, but in person, it almost, as it dries, it's getting grayer, but it almost looks pink, which is very strange. Um, WG1 is next. This this dot is really, really bothering me. I keep thinking it's like a new freckle. All right, WG1, warm gray one. That's a very nice warm gray. These grays would be very good for, um, warm gray three is next for um, any landscapes or buildings. I do like the grays because I can, especially for grayscale, because um, it kind of changes it a little bit. WG3, let's go with WG4, that's nine, CG. Bear with me one minute, guys, there's WG5, there it is, WG4, warm gray four, wrong side. That's a nice gray. I really like it with that purple above it. That's a pretty color combination. WG5. We can kind of fly through these, I think, because they pretty much go in order. That's a brownish gray. That's nice. WG6. So I do, well, we'll see, because these are all very different but it is a lot of grays. Um, there's quite a few more to go, as you can see. WG7. Those are very similar. We probably wouldn't need both of those. WG9. And that one is almost black. Again, we will see how these dry. Green gray one, which is GG one. I didn't write the names. Oh well, that's okay. I don't know that it said. And I know pretty much what these stand for, so that's all right. Green gray. I see lots of CGs. There it is. We don't have as many green grays or blue grays. Green gray one. Okay, that's different than what we've had. Green, gray, make sure that's the right color. Where'd it go? Where'd I put that? Well, I think it was. I think it was green, gray. How did that just disappear like that? There it is. Yeah, it was green, gray. There's GG and there's CG. So just making sure I had the right one. So now we have GG3. It's GG7, we'll grab that out anyway. G3. 
2G3. Green gray three. Very pretty. That's a nice one too. Again, it's pretty different than the rest. So that's good. And then we have green gray seven. And that is a very dark green gray. But I do like that as well. Again, it's very different than the warm grays. Now we have BG1, which is blue gray. Very, very pale blue. I don't know what it looks like to you guys. It does look like a very pale gray. It does have a grayish tint, but it is more blue. BG3. All the markers are horizontal in the case now. Which again, you want to store your markers horizontal, so just lay the case on its side. That's what I would do. Um, I am going to keep them in this little bag. I don't need any fancy case for my markers. BG7, but then when I store them, I will store them on their side. I'm running out of space for art supplies, guys. It's it's sad. I don't know what I'm going to do because there's so much more that I want. <laughs> BG7, and that is a very dark gray blue, too. You can see the blue tint in that. I'm going to keep poking myself. All right. Now we have go to the cold grays. So we have cold gray 0.5. Oh, whatever. We're just going to use the chisel tip. That's pretty. It's a very light, light gray. Again, very different than the warm gray. This, this color is so strange. It, it does not look gray to me at all. It does look gray on camera. So you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? But <laughs> it doesn't look gray to me. CG1, slightly darker, very similar. Probably throw one of those out. CG3, and I, I don't think I mentioned this, but I was not asked to do this. I was not um, paid by the company, nothing like that. I just got these markers because I needed a new set of markers and wanted to swatch and talk about them with you guys. So here we are, CG3, that's cool. That's a cool color. I don't know, it's almost purpley. CG4. It's very pretty, my computer making noise over there. CG5. I think the video I was rendering is done, yay. CG6, sorry I bumped you, CG7, and then CG9, so we've got CG7, okay, that's different than 6, 5 and 6 are quite similar, but there is a small difference. CG9, which is probably going to be dark. Yeah, that's almost black. Wonderful. So while those dry, I'm just going to try to put all these back in the case. Sorry for the sound. Yeah, I'll let you watch this as they dry. See if we can. Let's zoom out. And we'll see if we can get these back in the case. Okay. This is always a chore, and I kind of hate when I pull them all out, but. So this is kind of how I do it. If you guys are having trouble, just kind of hold them back. And the more you get in there, the more easily they're going to stand up and support each other. So I just shove them to the side. It's definitely a two-handed job. And if you have two people, even better. Almost there. Got about 10 markers left after this one. Attention, soldiers, stand up. <laughs> Good lord. All right. I think we're just going to put these in. 
very, very easily now. All right, and that should be it. There's something stabbing me on my chair. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Get in there. Struggle bus. All righty, we are done with that. Well, why am I zipping them? I still want to use them in my book. So, can leave them like that. Let's look at the swatches again. So, zoom in. All right, a little bit out. There we go. So, yeah, so these are all very nice colors. Um, there's a, well, the pinks are pretty good. They're not too similar. Um, these two orange, or scarlet and vermilion are very similar. Coral red as well. Um, the oranges look quite a bit different now. As with the yellows, the um, melon yellow, yellow, and the marigold are kind of close. The marigold is definitely more yellow orange. Um, these two are very, very similar. So I would probably take one of those out and put in, I don't know, maybe more browns. Um, I'm not sure because the blues are very good. The greens are very good. Um, there are a ton of grays. So that's the one other thing about this set is that there are a ton of grays. So they are nice. I, I wish that they would have done like three warm gray and three cool gray instead of like six of each because this is perfect amount for me. Like three, 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 and three would have been great. Um, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of bigger sets of markers and pencils of what other colors we would have put in there. I'm always a fan of purples, so more purples is always good. The blues are good. Maybe a couple more greens. And I don't see like a true red. The closest is geranium, but I would like a true red. Even this deep red is more pinkish. Um, so yeah. Just a, a few tweaks would be cool, um, but other than that, these are great markers. They are very, very juicy so far, which I'm happy about. So I'm going to grab two different books, all the way on the other side of the table, of course. And we have, I grabbed Fairies Grayscale by Jade Summer, um, which, because it's Amazon paper. Um, and I wanted to see how these go down on Amazon paper. And then I grabbed this book, which is Exotic Alphabet by Marcia or Marsha Zatino. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. I've done quite a few pictures in this book. Um, but this has more of a card stocky, but it's a little bit glossy um, paper. So we're just going to put some markers down and let's start. And this will be quick. I'm not going to do a whole page or anything, guys. I just want to see how these markers work. So. Let me just find a picture here. I do like that one. Maybe we'll start, yeah, let's start her. Hopefully this doesn't get flagged because she is a little bit risque, but that's all right. And I got my little unicorn sticker, isn't she cute? Unicorn cat, unicat. <laughs> all right, so let's start with her flowers and let's go, where's my color chart? That quickly, things get away from me, friends. Um, I kind of want to go with cherry pink, you guys. Or should I do rose red? Let's do rose red because they look like roses, and that's my only justification for that. So that's number three. So I'm going to go in with the chisel or bullet nib. And I need a water page. Oh my goodness, that was close. All right. So let's see. So I do have better control over this nib than I do in the Cali Arts. Um, sorry guys, I need to be more aware of where my head's at. So I do have better control. Um, they are not bleeding as, as much when I'm careful. Like it didn't bleed out over there. And we all know Amazon paper is very thirsty. So there's one. This is a very pretty red. I'm gonna be a little sloppy. This page, or this book does have two of each page, so. I'm not too concerned if I, if I mess up. But this is, yeah, they're not quite as, 
Bleedy. I think my roommate's home. Let me pause here real quick, guys. Alrighty, guys, and we are back yet again. Um, I'm so sorry for all the interruptions, but it's no big deal. You won't even know. It'll be like a 0.5 second break for you guys. So let's keep going with this, these flowers here quick. But yeah, I have a lot better control over this tip. I'm not sure what what's different with it. If you guys want it, I can do a comparison video with Calyards. That would be fun. So you can definitely try to do that. But yeah, this is going down super nice. It's very um, juicy, I guess is the, the right word. And it's drying very well too. And I am still out of the lines a little bit, but that's just practice for me. I am fairly new to these. Well, very new to these. They just came today, but fairly new to um, alcohol markers in general. I'm actually kind of excited to start this picture. Maybe I'll work on it some more. If we hadn't just done a color in chat in a grayscale Jade Summer book, I'd I'd do this on um, some week. Well, maybe we'll save it and do it another week. Um, I guess I lied. This color is very rosy, but again, it's going to show up differently on different paper. So if you want, you can always, before you go uh, do anything, scribble it on a test sheet. I don't know. I'm going to have to look in the back. I think there's a test sheet in the back of this book. There's There are some in a lot of other books. But yeah, so that is really, really nice. That goes down really well. Um, it does bleed a little bit, but the Amazon paper is not sucking up the ink as much as it would on another, um, um, on the Cali Arts, I feel like, so that's pretty cool. And then I'm going to just do her little armband and then we'll go to the next book and see how it reacts with that paper. Yeah, this is, these are much easier to control other than it not being super comfortable in the hand. I definitely have better control over this tip because it's shorter, I think, is part of the reason. Nice. Whoops, I missed a piece. How did I do that? These are really, I'm very happy with these. Very, very happy, I wasn't sure. So yeah, so there's a little bit of her done. And then let me grab my other book and we'll put another color down. Let's see what page. I guess we'll just go to, what? So yeah, I have a couple of in here done. I don't know what page, y'all. Done those, let's go with B. We'll start with this chameleon guy. I'm just gonna grab a color that I like. Let's go with that um, dark violet light color because I really do like that one. And that is 75 right here, luckily. Um, and I'm gonna do these little, no, let's do something bigger. Let's do these flowers right here. Oops, that's the chisel. Oh, I wanted to use the chisel tip in the other book. This this book has so many small areas, I can't really use the chisel, but let's go with these flowers right here. And we'll do. Yeah, this this paper is sucking it in a little bit more. They don't feel quite as juicy on this paper. Um, again, it is, I need to put a blotter in the back. <laughs> I already did that once in this book and had to color over it with a dark color. This color is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. So we'll just do these two flowers here real fast. That's really pretty. Oh, I love that. I'm so excited to have more purples other than just mauve shadow and some dark purples. We've really got a variety here. 
since my um, purple that I liked and my touch news died the other day during the color and chat, it's nice to have a few more. So that's very pretty, and let's go with the, um, I know I said we were, weren't going to do that, but let's go with, um, Do I want to do pale blue light or? Yeah, let's do the pale blue. No, let's do the pastel violet on the outside, 84. It's going back and forth there. <laughs> Just got too close to the edge, but that's okay. that a lot. That's pretty. Yay, purples! wonder how many times I've said pretty. <laughs> Probably quite a few. Cool. Awesome. Alrighty, you guys, let's see. Let's grab a green, and I am going to use the chisel tip maybe, like, in this bigger area. No, let's use the... Mm, I want to do both. That's 46 vivid green. I'm leaning more towards grass green for this guy. Ooh, no, pale green. Pale green for sure. 59. And I think even if you put these markers in order in your book, I don't think that it would... Um, or in your book. In your case, I don't know that it would stay that way. Oh, I feel like if I do that, then I'm going to have... Okay, we'll start on his leg down here because I don't want to have to do his whole body because of streaks, so... These are kind of hard to streak, though. When I get back to Jade Summer, I'll show you the flower because I stopped in the middle to open the door for my roommate. And it didn't really have a big, big streak. So this chisel tip is very easy to use too. Again, chisels take practice unless you start with them. They really do take practice. That's okay, we got some in that line, but that's all right. We'll just, um, um, color in with a darker green. So we'll see here if we get a streak. Well, now all I want to do is play with these markers all day. I was gonna do some diamond painting and color my inverted mandala, but we'll see. I might have to finish that fairy page. And this one I can come back to. Yeah, they're very nice. No streak there. So yeah, the chisel tip is easy, pretty easy to control too. Again, it's all practice for that, so. But there's our little chameleon guy, part of him. Awesome. So I'm losing daylight too. I guess this will be my last video today. Probably a good thing. <laughs> so if you look at this flower here, there's a tiny little, um, a tiny little streak right here, but it's really not that noticeable. Um, and that's where I stopped to get the door, so. So yeah, let's grab, oh, I would start her hair, but again, I don't want to have streaks in it. So where do I start? Let's do this tree right here. We'll grab a brown. I'm just going to grab the first brown I see. And this is 91. See, I wish there were color, color names on this because now I have to go back to the sheet. And this is natural oak. So it might overpower the grayscale, but that's okay. And we're going to use the chisel tip. So I'm going to use the very tip of the chisel to get in this little tiny space and try not to color the grass too much. And then go on this side and do the same thing. The computer's blowing up because people are Facebooking me. <laughs> so there's the tree. And now we can kind of use the bigger part of the chisel. This is why I'm trying to use the chisel, because of big trees like this, big parts. It's so much easier. But I'm still learning, so I still bleed out everywhere once in a while. 
like right there probably. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> but yeah, these feel very, very nice on the paper. We'll see how this dries. I think it might be too dark for the grayscale, but that's all right. Trees don't all have to be the same color. Well, maybe not. It's drying pretty well down here. So we'll let that sit for a second. Oh, oh gosh, okay, I am in, in screen somewhat. Sorry I colored off a little bit. Um, I wasn't even thinking. But there we are. And it is drying nicely. You can see some of the grayscale through there. But you definitely want to make sure you have a blotter page because it will go right through. This black does nothing. So yeah, let's zoom out again. You can see, well, see her. Yeah, this is drying super nice. It's going to take a while, so I probably won't hold you guys that long. Um, but they work very, very, whoop, very, very well. Where's our page here for a little chameleon? So they are very good markers. If you guys are looking for something a little bit better than Crayola Super Tips that are alcohol-based, then these are the way to go. Um, they have a great color variety. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, they dry very nicely. Um, yes, color variety could be a little bit better, but it's really not that that bad. Um, they are smooth, and they also don't have a smell. Um, like when I open these, at least to me, I can't smell it at all. I would have to, ugh, I have to really, really like sniff it. Um, the Cali Arts won't, some of them I can smell. Um, I didn't smell a single one of these, so they don't have a very strong smell. Um, but anyway, that's all for now. Oh, one more thing, this um, color swatch chart, as well as all of my other ones, I got from Coloring Pages Bliss, and that is Jennifer Stay. She has a, Jennifer and Steve, and they have a YouTube channel. Um, so go ahead, go over there and check them out. They are, oh, she's a great artist. Um, but you can also go to her website, which I will link down below, and um, you can print these out for yourself. You do have to be a member to get this particular swatch sheet, um, but it is free. You, there are other tiers, but the basic one to get this swatch sheet, it is free, so you don't have to pay anything extra for it. Um, so I will leave you guys with that. I will let you see these markers one last time. 84 markers by Spree. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I really, really do appreciate it and love your support. So thank you guys. Um, I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.